Annyeong. <웃음> 나 너라 왔어. Hello, it's me Annyeong. So I'm finally back here. After more than a year of not being active on YouTube, my last video was last year in March and it's August now so it's been one year and five months. Banyak benda yang berlaku dalam masa setahun lima bulan tu. Jauh ni ilto itku, sulpun ilto itku, seron kiongom tu itku, seron salam de mana nengkot tu itku, koseng tu mana so. Bulan Julai tahun lepas, something happened and my channel got demonetized. I was so sad about it. Masa tu saya down sangat-sangat and that is why sepanjang setahun tu, I didn't make any videos. But now, Alhamdulillah, I regained my channel monetization so I can continue earning with this channel. So don't skip guys. After all the things yang saya eksperimentasikan sepanjang setahun lebih tu, I think ada dua benda utama yang saya belajar. The first one is you can't do a lot of things at once. Sebelum ni saya plan banyak sangat benda saya plan. Siang buat itu, malam buat ini, weekend buat itu, weekdays buat ini. I plan too many things and I overestimated my kemampuan untuk buat a lot of things at once. Siji tuanku. Bame seunen goto manasso. Ona nare che kokigi joi ke morozoyo. Nuna, nan bigone rago esto. Tenen je sengagenen ige mo halsichi rago henende. Ona sungane je mo mi, je mo mi. Joi ge sinol bonesso. Aneza nan eso kero ge amyeon ichik chuko. 그래서 아 그냥 천천히 하자 라고 생각해 so jangan buat terlalu banyak benda at the same time for me it's like studying two chapters in one hour is harder than studying one chapter in two hours and kalau kita buat terlalu banyak benda at the same time boleh tuh memang boleh tapi quality kerja kita akan drop sangat-sangat so for me it's better to choose Just one or two things yang kita memang betul-betul minat and focus on that thing only. The second thing that I realized is that most of our problems comes from others. So in order to have a peaceful life, you have to minimize seminimal yang mungkin interaksi dengan orang lain. I know some people disagree, but for me, I believe that the more people you interact with, the more problems you have to deal with. Contoh situasi ada dua jalan, jalan A dengan jalan B. Kita drive di jalan A dengan jalan B dengan pelajuan yang sama, dengan cara pemanduan yang sama. Tapi bezanya, jalan A tidak ada ramai orang, jalan B ada ramai orang, ada banyak kereta, ada banyak motor. So, walaupun kita drive dengan pelajuan yang sama, dengan pemanduan yang sama di jalan A dengan jalan B, tapi the probability untuk eksiden berlaku di jalan B lebih tinggi dari jalan E disebabkan oleh kesalahan orang lain. And I also realized that the worst kind of job is a job yang require us untuk bekerja sama dengan orang lain. Es el peor. Algunas personas son tan problematicas. Ellos causan muchas problemas. Ellos mienten. No son puntuales. Sucios. Crosseras, no puedo controlarlo. A veces no es mi problema, pero porque es el problema de la gente que trabaja conmigo. Yo también me involucré. Estoy muy cansado. No quiero trabajar con la gente con este tipo de actitud. So it's better to just focus on things yang kita boleh buat sendiri tanpa bergantung pada kerja sama orang lain. Now, I want to focus on language learning. This year, I started learning a new language, which is Chinese. Saya baru saja start belajar Chinese. 我学韩语, dan 我还是不学韩语, 因为我学宝宝, 
I'm still a baby in Chinese. Um, merangkak pun masih belum boleh lagi. I just started. 我自己到很高兴人气呢. <laughs> I know it's not gonna be easy, but I'll try my best to learn as much as I can. And I'll be using Lingodia and Hello Chinese. And also for Arabic. <laughs> Back then, ata alam allo ta Arabia ta. Lakin alam ansa ko la shay an. <laughs> Uri duan adrusa allo ta Arabia ta. Lakin it is very very hard. Antara semua bahasa yang saya pernah belajar Arab bahasa Arab yang paling susah sekali. Sebelum ni saya belajar banyak bahasa, saya belajar Dutch, Esperanto, Tagalog and none is as difficult as Arabic. And honestly, I was at the verge of giving up but after taking some consideration, I decided to continue learning Arabic tapi without aiming for fluency which means I will only devil the language and it will not be in my main focus. I don't want my language learning journey to be stressful. I just want to enjoy it. So, kalau saya target, I want to reach this level by this year. I want to reach that level by that year. It's going to be very, very stressful and I won't be able to enjoy the language learning journey that way. So, I decided not to have any specific goals for Arabic. I am old now. <laughs> Since the past few years, I can really feel myself getting old. And it affects the way I think, it affects the way I see the world. I always think like, Nunu. Nunu maan no, hindi pa magunan. Nunu maan no. Nunu, opon ting hindi kaposyan to kao. Asaru ko yung buliti, kumusarahan ko. Nung will all this be worth it? I think about death a lot but not in a bad way not in a bad way tapi sebagai macam peringatan untuk berhati-hati dengan apa yang kita buat dalam dunia ni, dalam kehidupan ni sebab apa yang kita buat dalam kehidupan di sini akan efek kehidupan di sana you know what I'm saying? and in a way, it is also a reminder untuk macam kalau sedih, jangan bersedih berlebihan kalau happy, jangan happy berlebihan sebab hidup ni sementara aja. Honestly, I think my life is going slow berbanding orang lain but then again, life is not a competition so I'll just move at my own pace I'm still in a process to try to be okay with myself. I'm still in a process to try to be okay with how I am doing in my life. I don't know what the future holds for me, but I'll just keep moving forward. Berbekalkan faith and patience. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll make more videos soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>